Ooh, look at that. Oh! Rotisserie chicken is probably one of the most underrated foods in the world. I love it. I am here and this is the place that I am coming to called Jabal Nordif. I need to park here. Hold on. All right, I stop right in the middle of the road. All right, I'm right in front, right here. All right, let's get some of this goodness right here. How are you? How are you? Are you ready? chicken. Are you ready? Okay, Z. This place is, is amazing. They do a lot of sandwiches. They do a lot of drinks. The full blown cafeteria. They got some good stuff, but this thing is special. There we go. Getting that out. A couple of pieces of bread. Right at the bottom. Bismillah. Ooh, look at that. Oh, look at that, they got shawarmas as well. If you want it, two different types of shawarmas. They got some tea as well, they got sandwiches. Ah, oh, you get a little salad thing as well. You get some hummus as well, get some bread as well. Garlic. Ah, garlic. How much? 25. Or yet 10? Shukriya, thank you. Diet Pepsi, behave, my boy. Big Diet Pepsi, behave. Zero, chalega. Ah, zero, chalega. Shukran. Thank you. Yeah. Bye, bye. All right, we got the goodness right here. Now we gotta go and we gotta eat. So, your name? Ayan. Ayan? Yeah. What are you doing here? Grocery. Getting some all oh, groceries. Yeah. You just came from school. Yeah. What school do you go to? Stone. Stone. Oh, all right. Yeah, I'm so all right, that was good. Whoops, let's go find a place to eat that. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, we gotta be careful about the reverse. Difficult place, difficult place, difficult. And we got it. All right, I'm gonna find a place to go and eat this food because I just wanted to get out of the house and get some good food in a nice spot. And I think this is a great spot right next door. Look at this, look where we're coming. All right, we got our food and park in the car right here. And we're coming to the public park in Murdif, which is literally about 300 meters away from the restaurant. Salam alaykum, Kevin Hal. And it's a pretty cool community park. And we are gonna find a place to sit and eat this food. Let's go over here. There's all kinds of people in the park right now, working out, walking around, enjoying the weather. I need a spot that doesn't have a lot of sun. Let's see what we got. I think I found my spot right here. We're just gonna sit right here and eat some of this amazing let's see what we got <laughs> got a little cat whoa, whoa. okay this is going to be a little bit more difficult than i thought because there are actually a lot of cats over here and uh, nothing against cats but it's just very difficult to have open food in a place like this with a lot of cats. So let's get back in the car and we will eat somewhere else. Okay, so I actually decided to eat right here in the car. Got a nice Coke Zero. Let's see what we got. We got a little bag like that full of just some vegetables, raw vegetables. I will open that up 
And actually, right before I eat, because I am gonna eat with my hands, got a little bit of this. There we go. That's good. Hands are super clean now. So we got some raw vegetables. We've got some hummus. Whoa, let's see that. Oh, there we go. Small amount of hummus right there. You can probably see that. Wow, that is a light colored hummus. They've got some oil on that as well. You get bread and this is, ooh, this is warm bread. And that warm bread is, is amazing. You get some, oh, this garlic mayo. Yummy, yummy. That is just phenomenal. I'm gonna put that up here. And then, of course, you get this amazing chicken right here. Look at that. Oh, steaming. Oh, it is steaming, steaming hot. I mean, it came off the grill, so this is the entire chicken. This is probably a chicken that is 900 grams or something like that, maybe one kg, definitely not more than that. I will put the salad over here. I wanna get myself a piece of this bread. This bread is warm, and the way they've done this, this is a large Lebanese bread. So, look at that large size, just gonna get a little bit like that and go to the chicken, get some of this. Look at that, look at that. Look at that skin. You cut that and then what you wanna do is you want to get some of this hummus, put that in there. You get a bunch of that hummus like that. It's all dripping. Amazing. Mmm. Yeah. Oh man, that skin is still crispy. That chicken is oiled up so well. Mmm. That's amazing. Honestly, I don't think it has any spices on it. Definitely some oil on the skin to get that crispiness. Definitely a little bit of salt. Very, very, very little. But other than that, it is all chicken. And I got a little bit of breast, but I also want to get a little bit of the thigh, the dark meat. Look at that, oh man, that bone just came off. Look at that. Look at this bone, it just came off. Mm, that is beautiful. That chicken with the skin is just so nice and it is boiling, piping hot. Gonna get a little bit of this mayo, a good, amount garlic mayo is predominantly garlic olive oil man that is phenomenal i love this food you could eat this chicken on its own skin is just so so good i mean i'm a big fan of the breast piece but this thigh over here is just so good oh my god oh it's fantastic and get another bit of this thigh right here i'm using this bread basically because it is so hot but look at that oh look at this it's steaming hot i always get a little bit of the chicken and a little bit of the skin on this particular occasion i got a little bit of hummus on that and on the other side, and let's see if I can do this. On the other side, get garlic. So you got hummus on one side, garlic on the other. Mm. I got a small piece of bone, which is all good. One more bone. Oh man, that's amazing. It's good as I always remember. And I'll tell you, we have a lot of rotisserie chicken restaurants in town but this has got to be one of the best really i love it i still have a lot of bread still have a lot of hummus as well can get some of this mm, that's yummy of course you can get a bunch of them oh hot chicken on its own let's grab a little bit like that oh ooh, thank god that this garlic sauce is cold I'm also going to grab a little bit of this carrot. 
add some vegetables into the whole dish. Get a little cabbage. Mm. Fantastic. Oh. Yum! I love this spot. It's right next to my parents' house, so I kind of stop here a lot. I usually get this, I go home, I sit on the table and eat. I just felt like eating outside this time, so I decided to, to come here to the park. We know how that ended, and I couldn't wait any longer. I am sitting in my car having this amazing dish. Look at this skin. Look at this skin. Just look at this. Look at that. Oh my God, that is amazing. Dip it in this garlic right there. Woo! Oh my God, that is so hot. That is so good. I promise you will not be disappointed if you come to this restaurant. Now, like I said, there are a lot of rotisserie chicken restaurants and even though it's pretty simple, you put it on that big skewer and you let it rotate automatically and it cooks, you'd be surprised how many people actually dry it out. These guys really do a great job. The chicken is still pretty moist and super tasty. I'm gonna get a little more of this hummus and I'm not gonna lie, this hummus is not the greatest hummus in the world. And I say that with a caveat and that caveat is that I love my hummus to be very lemony and garlicky. I really love that. It's super fine, which is amazing. It's super soft. It's not the thickness that I like it to be. It's a little bit smoother than what it should be. And they've got some olive oil on that, but it's definitely not like super great Palestinian olive oil. It's definitely not that. So good hummus works well, but it's not the greatest. Like I said, if I were to make this at home, I'd add a lot more tahina, I'd add a lot more garlic, and I'd add a lot more lemon and some great olive oil from Palestine. Hmm. I'm gonna get some more of this chicken to this garlic paste. Mm. Oh, that was so good. I'm gonna continue to eat this dish and I'll see you guys on another video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have an awesome day. Mm.